Okay, right here is a 1989 Dart 600C. The 600C made its first appearance at the American Mining Congress show held in Las Vegas, Nevada in October 1978. As a replacement for the older D600 Series B model, which had replaced the original D600 Series in 1973, the loader featured many improvements over the older unit and would still remain the one and only flagship wheel loader from Dart Truck Company. Now let's go and take a closer look at this cool machine. The 600C was designed to carry a rock bucket ranging from 10 to 15 cubic yard capacity, with 15 cubic yards being the standard capacity for this machine until 1982 when the capacity was increased to 16 cubic yards. The Dart rock buckets featured scalpeled sides, which provided for maximum penetration and reduced overloading by allowing the bucket to shed material before filling and optional high volume coal buckets rated at 19 and a half and 24 cubic yard capacity were also offered for this machine for coal loading purposes. And to help give you an idea of the size of a 600C, this loader measures 18 feet 6 inches tall from the ground to the top of the rops over the operator's cab and 14 feet 8 inches wide. The 600C features Dart's patented balance boom system, which utilizes two nitrogen cylinders mounted on top of the lift arms, which pull on the boom during hoisting with enough force to counterbalance the dead weight of the boom and empty bucket. What this does is eliminate the amount of power required to lift the boom, and instead allows the engine and hydraulic systems to develop enough power just to hoist the weight of the payload in the bucket. As a result, over 120 horsepower is made available during crowding and breakout, which gives the 600C a 33% increase in breakout force and a 15% increase in hoist speed. Other benefits to this design include smooth boom lowering, reduced hydraulic system pressure, and lower fuel consumption. Back here you can see where the loader arms connect to the superstructure and below you can see one of the hoist cylinders. The 600C features Dart's exclusive DS655 heavy-duty triple reduction drive axles, which spread the torque over three sets of gears, resulting in longer component life. These axles were later upgraded to newer DS660 models. Right here you can see where the two sections of the loader are pinned together. And this is where the articulated steering is. One cylinder on each side to turn the articulated frame 40 degrees in either direction. Now, let's go up on the 600C. Now, let's talk power. The 600C was offered with multiple different engine configurations over the course of its life, depending on what the customer preferred. 
early 600 C's were offered with either a Cummins VTA 1710C V12 diesel engine rated at 700 horsepower, a Cummins KT2300 V12 diesel engine rated at 860 horsepower, or a Detroit 16V 92T V16 diesel engine rated at 800 horsepower. A Caterpillar D348 V12 diesel engine rated at 875 horsepower was also offered for this machine. Newer 600 C's were available with either a Detroit 12V 149TB two-stroke V12 diesel engine developing 875 horsepower at 1900 RPM and 2,570 foot-pounds of torque at 1500 RPM for this machine or a Cummins KT38C which you can see right under the hood here. This is a four-stroke V12 diesel engine that develops 860 flywheel horsepower at 2100 RPM and 2436 foot-pounds of torque at 1500 RPM for this machine. And the engine receives its fuel from a 350 gallon diesel fuel tank mounted below the engine. The 600C also features Dart's D-clutch fan design in which the fan works on a thermal delay principle and automatically disengages during digging and hoisting where the most engine power is needed and then re-engages when the loader is put into reverse, thus saving an additional 20 horsepower. From up top here, you can get a good overview of the top deck on a 600C. This compartment here allows access to the powertrain. Let's take a look inside. The engine drives three Vickers vane type hydraulic pumps off a Clark 16,000 series torque converter, which consists of two double pumps, each rated at 198 GPM, and one single pump rated at 81 GPM to power the front attachment, and two steering pumps with a total combined output of 126 GPM power the steering circuit. The 600C features a pressurized demand system with priority to steering at low RPM and to hoisting at high RPM. And from here you can get a good view looking down at the Clark 16000 series transmission on this machine which features three forward and three reverse speeds. Mounted on the right side is a 212 gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here. And here you can see the grease barrel for the central lubrication system. And if there's one design feature that made the big dart stand out amongst other loaders, it was the offset operator's cab. No other loader had this feature, and its purpose was to increase front visibility when digging and loading trucks. Very similar in respect to a shovel or excavator. And you can see the ROPS, which surrounds the cab to protect the operator inside. And if you look here, you can see the manufacturer's plate that says unit rig and equipment company and the model 600C. And from here you can get a good view looking down at the front attachment and you can see the two nitrogen cylinders mounted on top of the lift arms.
If you look on the top of the engine house, you can see the two exhaust stacks. And mounted on each side of the rear of the engine house are the air intake and air cleaning units for the engine. Now, let's go inside and check out the operator's cab. From here, you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the 600C. Okay, let's take a look at what some of these controls do. Directly out in front of the operator on the control panel, you can see all of the gauges to monitor this entire loader when it's in operation. From left to right, the gauges are as follows. Engine oil pressure, water temperature, volts, the tachometer, air pressure, hydraulic oil temperature, and the clutch oil pressure. Off to the right side, these two hand levers that you see right here control all the digging functions of the loader attachment in the front. One to raise the loader arms up and down, and the other to curl the bucket in or out. Here you can see the switches to control the parking and emergency brakes, and you can see other switches and controls to work other various functions on this machine, such as the climate control and front windshield wipers. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 600C. In 1982, DART introduced an ejector bucket version of its 600C loader, known as the 600E model, which reduced bucket tipping height, allowing the machine to load 170 ton and larger class mining trucks. And the overall operating weight of a 600C varied depending on the year of build and configuration, ranging anywhere from 96.3 to 99 tons, with the 600E weighing in anywhere from 98.6 to 101.8 tons. Dart Truck Company was later acquired by Unit Rig and Equipment Company in 1984 and would ship its last 600C in 1992. However, Unit Rig continued to market the 600C until 1994. After over 400 units had been built and sold all around the world, the last 600C left the Unit Rig factory in 1995, thus closing the book on one of the coolest loaders of all time. But there she is, a 1989 Dart 600C.